uh, in the vast majority of cases we are seeing um, uh, offenders who've been aware of their sexual interest in, in children since 12, 13, 14, 15 years old um, and that uh, being something that they have lived with throughout their uh, their late childhood and early adulthood and been aware of and, and in some cases managed um, uh, effectively and in other cases not managed and have, have gone on uh, to commit contact sexual offences. So um, I guess one of the key messages that I have for this conference uh, today is that it's not our experience uh, that people who view or have a single conviction for viewing uh, or downloading indecent images of children are, are uh, exclusively lookers. Um, they, in reality we're finding more and more that they are committing contact sexual offences and just simply not getting caught. Oh, the research that we have uh, been conducting is, is that almost 100% of them will say whenever they're first interviewed that they've only ever uh, downloaded indecent images of children. Uh, however, in our experience, 8 out of 10 of them will go on to admit that they have committed contact sexual offences and just not been caught. Again, it's, it's a, a, an explanation that we often hear from offenders who've been convicted of possessing indecent images of children that they will say they started out looking at adult pornography and, and a pop-up came along that, that brought them to uh, child abuse images and that's where their interest uh, became sparked as it were. In reality that rarely turns out to be the case. It